so it's it's NAX. It's not North America charging to NAX. NACS. I was calling it NACS, but apparently it's NAX. Okay. All right, we'll go with NAX. All right, welcome back to the channel. Dan here from North Tesla. So a little while back, Tesla kind of made it a little harder with their charging options. They kind of removed every car used to come with a mobile connector and they removed that. Now you have your choice between buying the mobile connector or the wall connector. I did a video on that. It was quite successful. Uh, so check that out. But now that all these other brands are now using the NAX North American charging standard. Uh, so all these other brands are now using NACs. So more, I'm seeing more and more uh, third parties coming out with uh, charging options, especially mobile ones uh, for EVs and using the NACs uh, standard. So one of those companies is Jawa. And as you know, if you're a fan of the channel, you know that I've reviewed a lot of stuff from Jawa and I generally really love their products because they're really well designed and well thought out and really well engineered. And they've come out with their own version of the NAX mobile connector. It basically is basically the same thing. It comes with all the same things as the Tesla mobile connector. However, one unique difference which sets it apart and you can stay tuned for that. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what it comes with. This is the box, really, the case. So let's get rid of the box here. It comes with an awesome carrying case. Got a handle here. All right, so basically, uh, obviously you have your Tesla connector. Uh, it has a button on the front just so that you can, uh, you don't lose that functionality of being able to unplug as well as open your charge port. Uh, and then you have this cable, uh, it's 18 feet, uh, so just two feet shy of the Tesla one. And then you have the uh, connecting box. So up here, this is just like the Tesla one. So this is the NEMA 515. Uh, so all you have to do is put it in like so. So this is the original Tesla plug. So as you can see, uh, it does fit in these ones. So if you have existing Tesla ones that you bought before, uh, so like any other NEMA plug, it does fit in here as well. So that's it basically. Uh, so just a couple highlights. It's uh, IP55, so it's rated to go outside and uh, it's shockproof, all that heat proof. It, uh, they've really done a good job of uh, preventing the heat and uh, more on that later. And then you also, it comes with the NEMA 1450 uh, outlet. So that's what I'm using right now in my garage. So this is the standard 220 outlet, uh, so or 240, whatever. Um, so this can go in, uh, also plugs in here, and that's how you can get the fast charging. As far as, like I said, what sets it apart from uh, the Tesla one. So basically, uh, Tesla one's about two feet longer, so if you really need the extra two feet, maybe get the Tesla one. Now, the thing that sets it apart from Tesla is that uh, if you've ever watched my previous video of um, explaining why you should get a mobile connector over the wall connector, is one specific situation is if you have a real wheel drive Model 3, that car can only charge up to 32 amps. So, and guess what? The Tesla mobile connector also only charges at 32 amps. Uh, so if that's you have your car, you're better off getting the mobile connector. However, if you have any other Tesla that's capable of 40 amp charging, you might want to get the wall connector for the added speed. But now this is an option because this is capable of charging at 40 amps. So you are no longer, you're not longer um, held back by the 32 amp mobile connector. You can get 40 amps from this guy as well. So that is a difference. So you're basically paying the same price and you can charge faster. Uh, what that difference is turns come like if you charge overnight a full like a full kind of full charge uh, You probably will save about an hour an hour and a half of charging uh, So, you know, sometimes it's important sometimes it's not but at least you have that option uh, So we're gonna go ahead and kind of test it out make sure it works well So uh, while I do that, why don't you take a second and subscribe? It really helps the channel grow you get better content better accessory reviews like this one So go ahead and subscribe So we have our cable, the 120 adapter. So let's go ahead and plug it in, which is wall just over here. So we're just gonna connect the adapter. 
Men pak den. The jowl cable is 18 feet long, so it is long, but I could use an extra few feet. So we are getting the full 12 amps as well as 111 volts. All right, we have our 1450 adapter. We're just gonna plug it in like so. Make sure there's a bit of a click, then you'll hear it. So jumping in the car, you can see that I'm getting 32 amps and uh, 231 volts at uh, seven to eight kilowatts. So we're gonna go update into the app because guess what, this thing has an app. Uh, so we're gonna go into it and adjust the settings. Uh, so what you're gonna do, so first off, we're gonna go to our settings, we're gonna go to our Wi-Fi. You'll see Jawa there, right there. Your default password is gonna be really easy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're gonna join that. Once you are joined, you are going to go over to a um, browser. You're going to put in the uh, IP address of 192.168.4.1, and that should bring up the uh, Jawa site. So from here, we're going to change the setting to 40 amps. You can change it to whatever you want, uh, but if we're going to maximize it, we're going to go to 40 amps. You'll see that immediately change in the car. Uh, so we're now drawing up to, it's going to go up to 33, 34. There you go, it's warming up. Uh, so eventually get to 40 amps. And now we are charging at nine kilowatts. Uh, so then if you have, this is mostly for like a non EV or sorry, non Tesla, you can change the, uh, yeah, we don't, I guess you can only do this if you are in a non Tesla, uh, because obviously with Tesla, you can just do it through the app, no issue there. But if you have a non Tesla, you can change the charging period, the game time and so forth. All right, so I've had the Jawa Nax mobile connector for a few weeks now. I've put it through his paces. I tried out different situations, and I have to say I'm quite impressed. So let's start off with the good. First off is the price. So when you compare it to the Tesla mobile connector, which is $300 US at the Tesla shop, this one is $275, and that's before discount code. So we'll get into that in a second, but it's $275 full price. Therefore, it's already cheaper than the Tesla mobile connector, and it does so much more. What it does over the Tesla connector is that it can charge at 40 amps. So like I said before in the video, if unless you have the Tesla rear wheel drive, if you have anything else that's capable of charging at 40 amps, uh, if you're strictly using the mobile connector as your charging option, then you are limited to 32 amps. Uh, so if you have the rear wheel drive, that's fine. Anything else, you're missing out on the 40 amps. So when comparing speeds, uh, 32 amps will get you around 7 to 8 kilowatts, and uh, uh, charging at 40 amps will get you around 9. So a bit of a bump. So another thing that I even think about this, but this thing has Wi-Fi. So you can control uh, the amps, so you can um, uh, customize it. Now, when you first plug it in, you may be limited to 32 amps. Uh, you have to go into the app to bump it up to 40. Uh, but then this is more specifically to if you have a non-Tesla a car, but if for non-Teslas, you can do scheduled charging, which you can in the Tesla, but it's just you can already do it through the app, so there's no need for the Jawa app. Uh, but if your car does not do that, you can do this through the Jawa app. And then also, because it has Wi-Fi, it's capable of software updates and firmware updates. My only complaint with this is the length of the charging cord. Now, it's not short. It's 18 feet, but I've tested a couple of others where it was like 20 feet and 25 feet, and it really comes in handy those extra few feet. Uh, so... That's the only thing I would change about this product is that I wish the uh, cord was a bit longer. So in terms of safety, this thing has got it all. It's IP55, so it's weather resistant. I had it in the rain, there's no issues. Uh, it's capable of operating from minus 30 to 50 degrees. So that's a wide range up here in Canada. We're probably gonna see those. Uh, so not an issue there. It also has dual temperature chips to make sure that the temperature reading is reliable and accurate to ensure safe operation while charging. So that's key. So just reading also, it has open charge point protocol. Uh, I don't know really what that is, but it's to support uh, future readiness uh, if you want to integrate into charging networks. That's what it says. I don't exactly know what that is. All right, so there it is. It's fast, it's reliable. It's got that 40 amps, which uh, not really other mobile connectors will do, as well as got Wi-Fi, so it's future ready and future proof. And you can't beat the price. It's 275, which is cheaper than the Tesla version. And if you use promo code Norm Tesla, you get 5% off. And the way to get yourself one of these is head over to jawa-life.com. I will have the link in the description. And again, use promo code Norton Tesla for 5% off. 
Anyways, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know with videos. I put out tons of amazing content like how-tos, tips and tricks, product reviews like this one. So if you want to get more content and better content, you should subscribe. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next week. In the meantime, drive safe and drive electric. Five point five meters, eighteen feet, but it has a ton more versatility. It's also it also has it also has dual temperature chips to make sure that nothing overheats and the control uh, temperature.